Antiphospholipid syndrome or in short APS is an autoimmune disorder associated with SLE. APS can be of two types, either primary which is idiopathic or secondary due to SLE. I have discussed a bit of APS in the SLE video. You may see that video after this one to get the bigger picture. Think of APS when a female has recurrent miscarriages or has frequent thrombotic episodes. These are the buzzwords and you have to think of APS when you see terms like these. As the name suggests, autoantibodies are formed which deactivate anticoagulatory proteins and activate platelets, thus producing a hypercoagulable state. How this happens is still not known. Symptoms include relevant clotting episodes. In the venous circulation, there will be a deep vein thrombosis. Pulmonary embolism may occur. Levado reticularis is a reddish blue discoloration of the skin due to decreased blood flow through the region, which is kind of obvious given the widespread clotting which is occurring. In the arterial system, stroke, MI, ischemia and gangrene may occur all due to decreased blood flow. I already mentioned the pregnancy related symptoms. Think of APS when you see such findings in a patient. A history of recurrent miscarriages or thrombotic episodes coupled with presence of lupus anticoagulant, anti-cardiolipin antibodies and anti-beta-2 glycoprotein antibodies will confirm a case of APS. You will also see thrombophilia in the blood test. Treatment is obvious, you have to stop the clot formation. For that, we use heparin, either low molecular weight or unfractionated heparin. This brings us to the end of this video. See you in the next one.